and thanks for your interest in insulation testing above 1 kV. I'm Jeff Jowett, Senior Applications Engineer here at Megger. Megger is known around the world for its electrical test and measuring instruments. The brand name has been in use since 1889. In 1893, George Westinghouse and Alternating Current won out over Thomas Edison and Direct Current to light the Chicago World's Fair. Five years earlier, in 1888, Sidney Evershed invented the cross coils ohmmeter, the first step in developing an instrument to accurately measure insulation resistance. In 1889, he patented the world's first insulation resistance tester. From these beginnings at the dawning of the age of electricity sprang Megger. For well over 100 years, Megger has been at the forefront of electrical test equipment development, exceeding industry standards in metering, durability, and functionality to deliver consistent quality performance. Starting with the insulation tester, Megger has introduced the industry to numerous firsts up to the present day. In addition to insulation test equipment, we manufacture a wide range of testing equipment for electrical utilities, industrial applications, data and telecommunications, and electrical contractors. So why do we test insulation? Over time, insulation breaks down. It degrades for a number of reasons. If insulation is compromised, injury or even death is possible. There is the danger of fire. Equipment failure and lost production time are possible as well. What causes insulation to break down? Electrical stress, too much voltage or even too little in particular applications can cause insulation to crack or delaminate. Mechanical stress, whether from physical contact with objects such as a backhoe, or from a stress such as continuous vibration from an out-of-balance machine can produce defects. Environmental considerations also impact on insulation's effectiveness. Chemicals, of course, but also dirt and oil can affect insulation. Temperature can cause expansion and contraction of insulation, leading to failure. And insulation can be compromised by everything from moisture to mice. Also, we test to be in compliance with IEEE's recommended standard, IEEE Standard 43-1974, revised in March of 2000. There are six tests recommended. Together, they give a complete picture of insulation state. They are the spot reading test, time versus resistance, the polarization index test, step voltage and ramp voltage tests, and the dielectric discharge test. So let's run through them. 